All right. So um, we're going through how to write the noble gas configuration, um, or which is also known as the shorthand. So I'm going to turn my camera down so it's not weird. OK, so first of all, we're going to start just writing two electron configurations. And actually, I'm going to change which one this is. Um, I want to go through neon and magnesium. So the way we've done them before, neon 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. And then magnesium, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. All right, so as we've been doing these configurations, you probably have noticed that there's a lot of similarities every time we do them. And you can actually find, because and that's because we always start at the um, with hydrogen at the beginning. So when I look at these two configurations, what I have is this configuration of neon I can find that within magnesium, and then I just added on a couple more electrons, and we constantly see this happening. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use that to, or not to create, but to learn a shorthand notation. It's called the noble gas shorthand. So the elements I have on the right side of the table, these are known as the noble gases. Um, it is group 18. The reason they're called noble gases is gases comes from the fact that at room temperature, that's their state of matter. Noble comes from the fact that these are elements that we do not see bond nearly as often as everything else. So thinking about the nobility, they did not interact with too many commoners, so kind of the same idea. So they, they can form bonds, but it's not nearly as much as other ones. And so we call them the noble gases. What's also true, and actually the reason why they're not forming a lot of bonds is because they are stable uh, because they have a full valence shell. So it's they're very they're at their lowest um, of all the energy arrangements of those electrons, these are the lowest energy. So we have short, so what we can do is we can take the noble gas, and so in this case it's neon, and we can put in any noble gas we want in brackets, but it's only it has to be a noble gas. So we're going to start with something um, that is stable, and then we're going to add to it. And then we just add the 3s2 to that, and that's magnesium written using the noble gas shorthand. So let's go on and try another one. So I'm just going to write on here, and um, you can obviously look through this table as we're doing it, but then you can write them in a different place in your notes. So let's try, um, let's go sulfur. I like working with sulfur. So I'm um, writing sulfur using the noble gas shorthand. So I want to identify where sulfur is. Sulfur is right there. And then I need to figure out which noble gas I'm going to start with. So I'm going to start with neon because that is the noble gas, the most recent noble gas configuration that I had when I have this configuration. And then I just go forward from there. So I have neon 3s2, 3p4. All right, let's try another one. And also, before I forget, um, it also works for orbital notation. So I can write neon and then 3s and then 3p. All right, so if I want to try another one, let's go for something in the D block. Let's go for palladium, PD. So PD, I need to identify the logical noble gas to start with. And for palladium, um, you always want to go, if you're going to use the, the shorthand, we might as well do it right, um, and go with krypton, because that any other noble gas just wouldn't make sense. So I do krypton, and then I keep moving forward from krypton. So I'm in 5s2, because there's enough electrons to fill it up, and then 4d8 is where palladium ends. And then same thing here. Two, three, four, five. It's the 4D, and I have eight of them, so three will be doubled up. All right, and I'm hoping you're getting the idea from there. So you start with a noble gas, um, and then you just continue forward. So instead of starting at 1S, we start with the noble gases. So that is noble gas configuration.